Hello students, so let's try to solve one very interesting problem from just 2023. And this problem is mainly classical mechanics, but uh, if we will analyze, this problem is actually from the chaos theory or nonlinear dynamics. So what is this question? This question is uh, the action is given and uh, this action is given between time t1 to t2 dt half m x dot square vx alpha x and here is x double dot. So I have just uh, marked this particular thing plus beta x dot x. So this is our action. So in general, in classical mechanics, what we have learned, we have learned s is given as t1 to t2 and uh, dt l as a function of generalized coordinate, generalized velocity and time. Then equation of motion is given by d upon dt del l upon del q dot minus del l upon del q must be zero. So here same way action is given and they are asking the equation what is the equation of motion. But we have to be very much careful that this particular l value or this particular function has a x double dot. So if it has x double dot then obviously this equation is not going to work. So this is not going to work. So what will be new equation? So you have to be very much careful that this new equation is given as, so if my L is function of generalized coordinate and Q dot and Q double dot, and it may be function of time, then the equation of motion is D square, DT square, del L upon del Q q double dot minus d upon dt del l upon del q dot plus del l upon del q must be equal to zero. So this is your equation of motion when you have this in this form of Lagrangian. And fortunately, we have uh, discussed this thing in our class actually. So not in a very detail, but at least in form of information, we have discussed this particular uh, format of this particular uh, differential equation or this particular equation of motion. Now, so we have our, I can identify this is my L. So my L is given as half m x dot square. So this is just like a kinetic energy, potential energy, and two, some weird term is there. So first, alpha x x double dot this is catch and plus beta x dot x so again this is again coupling term this is again coupling term so we have to just use the equation of motion the equation of motion will be d square upon dt square the generalized coordinate is x so you have del l upon del x double dot minus d upon dt del l upon del x dot plus del l upon del x must be equal to zero. Now we have to just uh, use this expression and we will just go for this. So this is d square upon dt square. So del l upon del x dot dx double dot. So we have to just differentiate this one. So we have alpha x where x is dynamical variable. So it is very interesting minus d upon dt del l upon del x dot so del l upon del x dot so we have to only differentiate this one so we will have and this one also so we will have m x dot plus beta x m x dot plus beta x so this is very interesting So here is, so this m will be separate. So mx dot, so we have differentiated this one. And here is plus beta x. So this will be there. And now the last term is plus del l upon del x. So this term will be going to differentiate. So this will be minus del v upon del x. 
this term is also going to differentiate. So plus alpha x double dot, this term is also going to differentiate. So plus beta x dot must be equal to zero. So now we are going to differentiate this term. So alpha x double dot, because x is dynamical variable and x double dot is defined, so you can differentiate it twice. So minus m x double dot minus beta x dot. So this will be differentiated x dot minus del v upon del x plus alpha x double dot plus beta x dot must be equal to zero. So this term and this term is cancel out. This and this will couple down. And now we have a final answer. So this and this will be add on. So you have two alpha x double dot I can take common. So two alpha minus m x double dot. And here this term will be survive here. So minus del v upon del x must be zero. So this is our equation of motion. And uh, I think if this is my equation of motion, so I think option D is correct one. You can just match this. And if I, have, I am not doing any wrong calculation, then obviously this is my equation of motion. So it's a wonderful problem. It's a wonderful problem. And this problem shows that now classical mechanics is shifting towards nonlinear dynamics in every examination, everywhere. So you have to go for always a good book. And this thing is briefly discussed into Goldstein. And uh, I have gone Goldstein book and this is discussed in one particular problem. And that is problem number 12 from my Goldstein book. Okay. And uh, this is basically third edition Goldstein book. So you can just go from there. And uh, otherwise, this is a straightforward question. If you know this concept, but if you don't know concept, then obviously you will trap into wrong concept and you will give the wrong answer. So this is, uh, and yes, calculation is very interesting. So you have to be very patient when you are doing the calculation. So just try this question with yourself. Thank you.